These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all. Hi there, good Thursday to you. I'm Amelia Fabiano with your top stories here from ABC 15 Arizona. Shouts of shame in Arizona. Some Democrats in the Arizona House shouted down their Republican colleagues. This after the Republican-led chamber stopped a vote to repeal the state's law banning abortions unless a woman's life is at risk. That newly revived law dates back to 1864. Republican leadership cut off discussion on the law, then adjourned for the rest of the week. Turning to our continued coverage on teen violence today, parents and community members speaking out at the Chandler Unified School District meeting, taking concerns about teen violence and safety straight to the board members. Some of the public comment got heated, calling on board members to take action when it comes to safety. After months of gathering solutions, it's time for our leaders to rise up and take immediate action. You as leaders have failed to act on creating a safe space for the children. In February, the district announced they were putting together a teen violence advisory committee. People can apply to be a part of that group online until Monday. An update to some breaking news now from Monday. Police are asking you for help to catch a suspected arsonist. ABC 15 following up in Phoenix after this fire spread through homes under construction near 59th Avenue and Baseline. Authorities do believe these fires were sent intentionally. Officials are asking anyone with information here to call silent witness. Buckle up and rev your engines. We're burning some rubber and shifting our gears into overdrive at the newest indoor karting track in the East Valley. Our tracks for our intermediates and advanced racers are on a three-story tiered track, so you have a lot of different elevations. We also have it to where it simulates kind of a car style, indie car style road course. Plus, all of our cars are electric, so you know we have that portion of having that real big thrill of that instant torque and being able to go out there and get speeds really quickly. The long-awaited Andretti Indoor Karting and Gaming is finally open in Chandler. This place is three stories tall, offering four different tracks. Plenty of ways to put the pedal to the metal. Woo! We have one track called our Mini Mario Track that takes drivers from the age of four up to about eight. So kind of getting that first introductory experience into racing. We have our junior track that goes from eight years old up to about 12. Our intermediate and advanced drivers can race on either our green or blue tracks. The speeds are just the only things that are different. Find the need for speed and navigate through hairpin turns, straightaways, and exhilarating ramps on electrifying tracks with neon lights. <laughs> That was awesome. And once you're done unleashing your inner race car driver, it's time for some games. Our bowling is a Brunswick duck pin style bowling, but it also projects different unique games directly onto the lanes. We have some great uh, virtual reality experiences. We have a uh, dual level laser tag arena, um, some different motion rides that are here as well. And then obviously our arcade. And if you work up an appetite. The Rucker Burger is one of our standards. We have a margarita pizza and a San Gennaro that are fantastic. And then our specialty cocktails are actually interactive drinks with cotton candy and some other pieces. Reporting in Chandler at Andretti Indoor Carding, Zach Perry, ABC 15 Arizona. Time now for that most accurate forecast. I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosillo. Today is going to be the warmest day of the year so far with Phoenix topping out at 94 degrees, the first 90s of 2024 as well. And it's not just going to be Phoenix that's warming up. We're warming up across Arizona with highs in the low to mid 90s to our south and to our west. And in northern Arizona, it's 60s for Flagstaff, but otherwise it's 70s and 80s for highs up north with spots like Sedona and Kingman reaching the low 80s here this afternoon. Winds are staying light as high pressure builds in, but then we start to feel some strong winds tomorrow. Tomorrow could still be warmer into the mid 90s again in Phoenix, but those winds are picking up ahead of a storm system that'll eventually move in early next week, and that's just going to bring cooler air our way again. So highs reach the low 90s to mid 90s today, tomorrow and Saturday, then fall into the mid 80s on Sunday. And by Monday, we'll see a chance for showers in northern Arizona. The valley looks dry, but highs will fall into the upper 70s on Monday before we warm up again. For the latest headlines, weather and traffic, head to abc15.com or download our free ABC 15 mobile app. These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all.